Hi guys, another Geek123 here. Here is another random review episode. So today we got Batman v Superman and Justice League from the wheel. Both of these are horrible DCEU movies. One is a movie which is bad because it's stuffed and it is a very dark movie. And the other is a somewhat sequel to this, to the first movie. But it's a very light hearted stuff movie as well. That changes most of the characters from the first one. So let's get on with the reviews. So let's start with Batman v Superman. Before I start the review, I'd like to say for years I wanted this movie ever since I was a little kid. And I really did want this one to be good. The movie stars Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck and Jesse Eisenberg. The plot is about many people are upset about the loss two years after Superman and Zod's fight, including Bruce Wayne. So Bruce marks to stop Superman as Batman, while Lex Luthor makes a plot. First off, here are the nice things to say. I thought Ben Affleck was like Andrew Garfield. A good actor, trying their best, creating a good character, but then it's just in a terrible movie. Gal Gadot was also fantastic in this movie, showing us Wonder Woman was going to be fantastic before her brilliant solo movie. I thought the scenes were quite good, even though the destruction brings it down. Now the bad things, first it feels like two halves are in the same movie. The first half is a political type movie based around Superman. That doesn't really make much sense, but I'm just going to leave that there. Then all of a sudden it's this big massive action movie with weird plots mashed in in between. Like, oh I what the fuck was that? Just this leak set up for. Like, ooh, email, ooh, superheroes, ooh, let's plug in the next film and shove even more stuff in. Also, how is Batman in this movie? Oh, he kills again. Batman doesn't kill in the comics, and it's a part of his character and moral. But not anymore, not in this movie, of course not. Fuck that shit. All I'm gonna say about Lex Luthor is you're not the fucking Riddler, mate. What the hell is with all the laughing and the ADHD type shit? It's like The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Good actors, bad writing, bad marketing. I know again, I haven't talked much about this, but that's because there's so much to talk about about this film. I'm just going to give this movie a 4 out of 10. Now Justice League. This stars Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, Ezra Miller and Ray Fisher. The movie's plot is about people's grief without Superman. This makes Stephen Wolf attack and this forms the Justice League. I got to give credit here for the movie. It was a very good directed film. By two separate people at two separate times, this movie does feel like it was directed by one person. This also doesn't feel like uh, anything like Zack's past films, including Batman v Superman. Maybe it's because of Josh Whedon's takeover, but let's not take the blame on him since it has not been officially said. This movie is really a light hearted movie, very different to the DCEU. Well, before this movie. It looks like I haven't seen Aquaman yet. I know I need to go and see it or watch it at any time. The DVD comes out if I can find it online, I'll find it online. And Jazam looks like a very fun movie. But one thing I think the movie struggled with was Warner Brothers wanting to make it not two hours plus. They wanted it like a normal superhero movie, just two hours. This is because we have three whole main characters to develop in this film with three to four characters we have already seen in this universe. I love The Flash, but mostly everything about him was given away in the trailer. Same for Aquaman. They also try and develop Stephen Wolf, but it doesn't really work because he's basically a large, tall CGI character and he looks weak in a light-hearted movie. I also don't get the one family thing in the ending battle. I think it should uh, have shown more victims in that scene to give it more, f more of a, to give it more of a thrilling setting, 
makes us actually want the heroes to win. I also feel there was no point in Ray Fisher's cyborg. He did a great job, I'm not gonna lie. But the character had nothing really to do but like computer stuff. Overall, I think the movie was just so clunky from the restriction of two hours and the change of direction. So I'm gonna be nice and give this movie a 5.5 out of 10. So guys, this was um, the latest episode of Random Reviews. I hope you agreed with my comments, but if you did not and want to talk more about the film, please comment down below. Also, if you want improvements in the series, again, please comment down below. I do read every comment. So, catch you guys next time. Peace. Hold up.